Hey guys, it's coming to say welcome to my review of the Flash season two, episode seventeen, titled "Flashback." And what a coincidence that is titled "Flashback" because Barry went in time. Uh, he went back in time, basically. That's why they called it "Flashback." So maybe it wasn't a coincidence. Well, not maybe. It definitely was not a coincidence. That was definitely intentional. Anyway, uh, I like this episode. I think this is probably in my top three favorite episodes of the season um and this this episode just reminded me how much i loved tom Cavanaugh playing earbud thorn um i just loved him how it just reminded me how i loved uh, tom Cavanaugh playing reverse flash last season because because now that you watch um top um, Tom Cavanaugh playing both Eobard form from Earth from last season and the real Harrison Wells but this Harrison Wells from Earth too you can see that they are comp two completely different characters now, now, now that you saw them in the, basically the same episode he played but and the thing is yeah he played them very well he plays them so well like that's that's I just love this character I just love uh, Tom Cavanaugh I think he him I think he's probably the best actor on the show. Him or the actor who plays Joe. I can't remember his name. I think it's Jesse some is it Jesse? I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Uh Barry needs to go back in time to learn how to get faster. Wally said something, I can't remember exactly what he said to Barry. Uh something about the project that I was working on that gave him the idea to go back in time to learn how to get faster. So anyway, yeah. They, he goes back in time. Uh, Harrison Wells figures out very quickly, in fact, that the that this Barry is not from this world, this 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 time, this period of time. So he nearly and the thing is, yeah, he nearly killed him. And I was, this is this is why I love this character. This is why I love Tom Cameron or someone because he actually made me feel acted very scared for Barry when he was like, he raised his hand. He was gonna like vibrate through Barry's chest and Barry, Barry was like he he knew what he was going to do so he managed to uh, talk him out of it just in time but and I actually felt very scared for Barry at that time because I thought he was he, he was actually going to do it so that's why I just love this guy so much um, so yeah Barry manages to basically blackmail uh, Harrison Wells into helping him get faster and at the, by the end towards the end of the episode he gives him this this tesser I can't remember the name the thing that we saw in the Flash Supergirl crossover um, a few nights ago he, that's what he gave Barry that's how that's basically how Barry goes faster basically I think so anyway where is it is that where he go no sorry I got that wrong he told Barry about it so I think maybe Flash created maybe like Team Flash they will create something like that I, 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 don't, I don't know we'll have to see in the next episode but sorry I got that wrong I, I think I did anyway sorry my memory is a bit all over the place at the moment anyway one of the other things the main things that happened in the episode was uh, the time rave aka it's basically a version of the Black Flash from the comic books uh, it was, it's basically this they can't really call it Black Flash I don't they can but because they have they they already have a black costumed speedster in Zoom already in this season, so I don't really I don't think they really want to call it Black Flash for some reason. I I don't know. That's just my thoughts. But yeah, he so uh, Eobard Thorn Harrison Wells explains that every time a speedster goes back in time and changes events, uh, the time the the speed force or something like that they get. They they become enraged and then they go after the person who goes back in time to kill them, something like that. Anyway, I, ha I have to listen to it again. So that's why the black racer comes after Barry throughout this episode. So yeah, that's basically what happened in the episode. That's basically the whole story of the episode. What uh, the main things that happened in the episode. Uh, I like this episode. Like I said, um, I think it's in my top three. I'm not sure if it's my number one. <clears throat> but it's definitely in my top three, mainly because of Tom Cavanaugh. Uh, we saw Eobard Bourne return. Speaking of returns, we saw Eddie return, and Iris had this very uh, emotional scene where, where back where, during the time where Barry went back in time, he recorded Eddie. He he recorded a message from from Eddie. And then he showed it to Iris in the pre in our time, in our present time, and I thought that was very touching for me, uh, because 
and and maybe this is a signal for Iris to now move on because as we heard Barry showed it to her for her to move on um so yeah that's basically what happened in this episode um yeah I'll give this episode a maybe an eight and a half out of ten uh so yeah that's my review of the flash season two episode 17 what do you guys think of the episode share your thoughts down below in the comments uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this review video please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys later for more videos